Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and one of the problems I see all the time when on forums and people asking me questions is what kind of lure should they get? Especially if you're starting out or if you're on a budget or maybe you've been on hiatus for a while and you're just coming back into bass fishing. There's so many choices and so many different ways to catch fish and everybody talks about how great they are. It's really confusing. It can be frustrating when you're at the tackle store trying to figure out what to buy. So I'm going to give you the top seven lures that you should focus on. And really the main theme here is focusing on versatility and, and lures that can be fished year round. The more you focus on that, then the more you can, you can make your budget go a long way and you'll be able to catch fish no matter what condition that you're in, be it weeds, be it docks, be it rocks, be it deep water, clear water, muddy water, windy days, cloudy, cloudy days days that there's no wind at all, hot days, cold days, whatever, get the, these seven lures that I'm about to outline for you are the most versatile lures that you can have in your tackle box and you need to have them in order to catch fish. All right, so the first one is actually the hands down champion of all lures and that's the jig. I have tons of them, but here's a couple of them. The thing about the jigs, you can fish them year round in every sort of depth, every condition you can think of. You can fish them in 40, 50 feet of water, even deeper, all the way up to a couple feet of water during the summertime. You can drag them, you can hop them, you can do, you can swim them. You can do pretty much anything with them with the different weights here. And in the summertime when there's thick weeds, you can get a heavy duty one that's, you know, a three quarter ounce or an ounce, punch it through the weeds. There's finesse jigs like this. Perfect for when the, the bite is slow or small mouth like, they actually large mouth like these too. There's so many different kinds of jigs out there, but the, the reason being is that they're so effective. If the, you only have one lure in your boat, you gotta have a jig. Okay, next on our list is the crankbait. There's so many different crankbait styles out there, but that's for a good reason. They catch fish. Now in the winter time, you're gonna wanna go to something with a little bit of a, with a slim profile, with a narrow bill. These type of baits right here, that's what you want to go with. It's got a tighter wiggle. That works really well in the winter time. As the water warms up, then you can go to something with a little bit deeper dive. There's a round bell with a little bit longer bell on it. You can go a little bit deeper. And it has a, has a wider wobble. That's the, that's the main thing about this. It's a little wider, it's wider than the crankbait I just showed you. And it has a more of a wobble a wider side to side and this has a real tight wiggle. This works better when it's warmer, works better when it's colder out and colder water temperature. And then as the fish get deep, in the summertime you want to go after them, get something like that. Look at the bill on that. Okay, that's going to go nice and deep and go after them right where they're at. That's why these crankbaits work so well. You can also have different types of bills for the different kind of cover you're fishing in. For example, square bills, these are designed well, they're called square bills for a reason. Look at that. It's a square bill. These are designed to deflect off of wood and other types of cover and the hooks won't get hung up in them. So you can fish it in some thicker stuff than you normally would, not worry about the hooks getting snagged. Uh, they, and then they have hybrids of these things. You've got the round bill. The round bill dives deeper, like I just mentioned. And then in between is the coffin bill. And that's what this is. The coffin bill is kind of a good combination of the two. You can still go deep with this, but it'll also bounce and deflect off of cover, woody covers especially, without the hooks getting hung up. So there's a lot of different types of crankbait styles you can fish for the variety of conditions that you find yourself under, but that's the key thing. You can dig in and get those fish regardless of where they're hiding year round. That's why the crankbait's on this list. All right, the next bait on the list is the jerkbait absolutely killer throughout the entire year. Now I know some of you are going to be really surprised about that because most, well not most, but a lot of guys think jerk baits are only used in colder water temp, usually in the early spring. That's a mistake. You should be fishing them year round. I fish them all year round. I catch lots of fish on, fish on them every season. I truly believe the reason why people aren't catching fish other than in the early spring with jerk baits is simply because they're not fishing them. You can fish them very fast in the summertime. I like you, the, the rule of thumb in the summertime is that you can't fish them too fast. Just jerk, 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 jerk. Bring them back really quick. 
across the surface. You can let it pause for a long amount of time. You can stop it whenever you want to and, and bring it back even faster. Vary your cadence, vary your speed. One way I like to fish it is just throw it out there and then give it like three, pot, three quick jerks and let it sit. Let it come all the way back up to the surface and let it sit for a while, then jerk, jerk, jerk. Let it sit for a while. Fish sometimes will annihilate it when it's just sitting on the surface and it's 95 degrees out and sunny. It works great. And in the wintertime, they make deeper diver ones like this with a big bail on and they suspend. That's perfect for when the water temperature is really cold. For me, about 50 degrees or below, I'll throw it out there and it dives down seven to 10 feet and then it just sits and sits and sits until a fish will come out and, and grab it. They just suspend. They might move a little bit upwards or a little bit downwards depending on the model that you get, but it works really well for catching those lethargic fish in the wintertime. So jerk baits. Fish them year round, and you'll catch a lot more fish. Next in the list of must have lures is the craw worm. Craws. Gotta have these. Look at they come in different colors, different, there's different styles and varieties. Matter of fact, they even come in mini sizes. This is great year round fish. No matter where they are, they feed on crawfish all the time in all but the coldest part of the year. That's when craws are, crawfish are active. They're protein rich, great slow moving snacks that the bass just love to eat. So anytime you're, you're in a warmer, well, except for like the dead of winter, you can fish them on as jig trailers. It's perfect for that. You can fish them on just a Texas rig, put them through the weeds and in the rocks. Uh, uh, a shaky head works really well during the winter time, but bring it down deep and drag it real slow. I like to put on football head jigs and get it around rocks and such. There's so many different ways to fish them. It's, it, it's really limited to your imagination. It works on split shot, works on Carolina rigs. There's so many different ways to do it, to get it at the depth where the fish are at and where they're actively feeding. That's really the key. Figure out what depth there are in the winter time and the summertime, they're gonna be deeper. In the springtime and in the fall, they're gonna be a little more shallow be buried up in those weeds, for example, and you gotta go in and dig them out. Craw is a great slim profile bait that's not gonna get hung up on those weeds. It's a great way to go in and dig them out. Get some craws in your tackle box, boys, and go out there and catch some fish. All right, next on the list of must-have lures, the spinner bait, my favorite. Spinner baits are so versatile year round. This one's got a will leaf blade on it. This one's a Colorado blade on it. You can fish them in any part of the water column. I always have one tied on and on my deck year round. You can fish big three quarter ounce ones like this real slow and drag them on the bottom, slow roll them when it's really cold out. The water temperature is 42 degrees and the fish just are really lethargic. You can drag this right by them and get a reaction strike. You can fish them faster through weeds and not get hung up with a willow leaf blade like this. This one's only a three eighth ounce spinner bait. In the summertime, it's great to burn it right near the top, bulge the surface. Even a, big, even, even a big bait like this, you can bulge the surface in the summertime, so it's almost like a buzz bait. You can fish them around wood, weeds, rocks, docks, anything, and not worry about getting hung up so much because this big, it's like a big weed guard here, the wire here, works to prevent that hook from getting hung up. It's a great lure to have tied on all the time, as long as it's white. Okay, that's my preference, but white with a trailer, that's how I like to fish it. Tied directly, by the way, don't use snap swivels or anything like that, just tied directly to it. I use a uninot. Some folks like to use polymars. Either way is fine, whatever your preference is. The point is, tie one on and use it throughout the whole year, and you're gonna catch a lot of fish. All right, next on the list that you gotta have, finesse worms, right here, look at that. Finesse worms are killer year round. You've got to use these things. They're very, very versatile. In the winter time, you can fish them on a split shot or on a shaky head and just drag it on the bottom real slow. In the summertime, you can say, for example, one like this, you can put it in a wacky rig, throw it out there around docks, twitch it back really fast. You can put this on a little jig head and throw it up in those docks and the lily pads. In the summertime, put it on a drop shot fish it deep, just nose hook it right here on the end and give it a little bit of wiggle. There's a lot you can do with finesse worms all year long to catch those finicky fish. You've got to have this, especially when a cold front comes through and the fish really don't want to feel like biting. All those other lures I've shown you so far, not the best choice, but when it comes when the bite's real tough, you got to have these in your tackle box. Another must have in your tackle box has to be the lipless crankbait. These babies. 
They work all the time. The cool thing about these is because of their shape, you can fish them at any depth and at any speed, which is great for matching the, the, the activity level of the bass and where they're located. You can drag them really deep down in the water column and just yo-yo them off the bottom. You can burn them really quick across the top in the summertime over weed beds and, and entice those fish to come up out of the weed bed and strike them. You can fish them around docks. You can stop and go retrieve on them. You can do all sorts of things with them. They're very, very versatile, which is why you want to have these tie it on. They're different colors so you can match the bait fish, the color of the forage that's, that the fish are feeding on, and they come in different weight sizes, uh, weights and sizes, so you can adjust your speed and depth as well that way. So it's such a versatile lure, you really, you're, you're limiting yourself if you don't have some of these in your tackle box. And there you have it, the top seven baits that you need to have in your tackle box in order to catch fish year round. Notice they're all very versatile and you can fish them in a variety of conditions, each and every one of them. You can fish them in docks, you can fish them in weeds, you can fish them in rocks, in deep water, shallow water, hot water, cold water. That's the point. Get these lures in your tackle box and you'll be extremely versatile angler and you won't have to spend a, a fortune in order to fill out your tackle. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com.